Hey everyone, uh, Shinobi here from C9 Valorant, and uh, today we're going to be doing some uh, tips and tricks on how to become an effective Sova player on Ascent. Uh, So, Sova as an agent, one of the big reasons that I think he's so strong on this set is because the map is really wide open and his kit just allows a lot of information to be gained at relatively low risk. I think another thing about Sova that makes him really strong on this map is uh, some of the memes that you can get away with with the uh, wall banging potential with the Odin combined with the uh, recon dart. So, I think overall, uh, Sova's a pretty strong agent to add to your character pool if you're looking to, to play a set. So one of the things I like to do early round to uh, put some pressure on A is I'll come to this wall here, aim uh, to the right of this um, hole in the wall. It's two thirds power, two bounce. And the shock will land right, right at the entrance and it'll do a lot of damage to anyone trying to push. And it'll also break uh, cypher trips that they like to set here on the, uh, early, of the early portion of the round. Another really g strong um, combination you can do with your utility if you're attacking a site is you can come toward this box and if you aim I just go up from the right side of the box shoot a dart over like this so ping toward the back of the site now it won't get generator but this is actually intentional because you'll you'll lock the guy there because at the same time I'm gonna come from the same spot one bounce Throw these shock darts, and like you can see, if a guy's playing generator, it's a free kill. So an another pretty effective and simple recon that you can do for getting information toward the site, you just come toward the archway, one bounce, and it'll just land behind uh, default like this. I just kind of aim at this archway here and at these windows. It's, like I said, one bounce, one third to one power, like that. It's pretty strong uh, for getting back of the site, and it'll also ping people that are right. peeking on top of the box here. I, I think the main thing with with Sova when it comes to attacking the A site is, you know, obviously you want to gather information for your team, but um, you know, don't be afraid to to tell your teammates like to follow up your drone because it's pretty safe and effective way to get information, especially if you combine it with like either an omen right. smoke at the door or maybe a cipher cage. You can really isolate and cut the site in half, and it gives you a lot of uh, freedom to uh, to freely come into the bomb site so there's a, a few darts that i'll use for for taking mid control with my teammates um most of the time you know when we take mid control it's going to be combined with like some sort of smokes whether they're on catwalk or deep mid so one of the darts you could do early around if you're spawn toward a you could just come here off the barrier just aim below this electrical box full power just shoot this will just clear close mid it's nothing nothing crazy um likewise another way you can do that dart if you're outside b is if you come behind this hut back here where these fish are and you kind of aim just to the left of that light uh i guess a light post there full power again just shoot it same thing it'll ping ping middle get all of close mid it's a pretty safe way you can get the information here now another pretty good dart that you can use for getting information in the middle, if you think that they're either playing in market or they're deep by pizza, if you come again off the barrier toward this box in top mid, you aim at the top of the roof, full power, jump and throw. This will actually land on top of the archway and it'll get inside market for any operas peaking this angle here. And it'll also clear pizza and it'll also get this angle here for back mid. So if your teammates are doing a split and they want to come through market, it's a pretty good dart that you can throw for them. And then you can hold their back mid for the cat flank. Another thing that's really strong about Sova and why I think he's so good on this map is not only can you get the information by using these darts that, you know, again, they're not super complicated, but you can also set up kills for your teammates. So if you have a dart middle and your team and your teammate spots them, you can just wall straight through this wall and get kills even with a vandal or a phantom and it's pretty easy to just wall through this so it's really strong if you can get darts that are 
hard for your enemies to break. Even one ping can get your teammates kills, so it's really effective. Something also I'd suggest, you know, you could you know, come here and do these shocks for positions like, uh, you know, cipher traps and things like that. But I think it's something you want to keep in mind as a Sova player is you don't always want to use your your um, shock darts blindly. You know, you want to make sure that every piece of utility you're using serves a purpose. So it's pretty important that. You know, if you're gonna commit to shocking like this, that you have information that you know the Sova likes to trip this spot very often, or your teammate relayed the information to you that there is a trip here, so you can go and break it. Otherwise, I think it's a better use of your shock for guaranteed damage, in my, uh, at least in my opinion. All right, so one thing that you can do as a Sova player um, to combat the uh, Odin spamming meta that's going on right now, where teams are you know they're darting into B main off the wall and they're just spamming through with an Odin. You can come to this grate off rip. Uh, you line yourself up in the center, and you know for the first shock dart, what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up your charge bar just below this uh, knob on the electrical box. You're gonna do with two thirds power, and you're just gonna let it go, like this. And the second one, you're gonna line up uh, same spot, aim above the, the between the wire and this uh, kind of like a discolored brick, like this. One bounce. One power. And if you combine the two, you're going to have an easy kill. A couple of recons that you can do early round to get some information. Uh, if you want to kind of either counter spam or you just want to get some early side info, you could off the spawn start at this tree. This will ping anybody playing in the back of the site. Another one that you can do that I think is a little bit better is right off the barrier. Barrel drop. Just full charge. Aim at this tree. Right here. Shoot it. This so one's just a little harder for the uh, CTs playing the site to hit because they have to turn around. So it's, it's pretty good for entering the site. It'll also ping anyone playing stairs. And um, it'll also get people playing up here on this platform as well by market. So it's overall a really strong dart. Another really strong dart that you can do for entering the site. Uh, if you think people might be playing close, either in boathouse or playing logs, you can jump onto this barrel, uh, sorry, this box here. Between the uh, the fish it doesn't have to be too exact, but you just jump up here, and then the small window here, you just aim in the middle, and just left click, and this dart will ping yeah, anybody playing boat, anyone playing logs. It's really easy to throw. You can kind of apply the same concepts for you know if you were gonna execute B from B main, if you were coming uh, over here from market. You know, some of the darts, you can use obviously the same darts, like this dart for the back of the site on the tree, or this one here. But I think another really strong dart that you can actually do is you throw it at this electrical box, full charge. And it'll give you kind of the same the same clear for behind default, close dragon. It's really important, honestly, like the darts themselves don't have to be too complicated, but you want to mix up where you throw the dart so you, the enemies are, you know, constantly guessing and trying to figure out where you're going to gonna throw the dart because if you just throw the same one over and over teams are gonna pick up on it and they're gonna just like pre-fire your dart so you know, even something like this while it might not be like the best dart you'll probably have a good chance of getting a ping off if you mix up the way that you throw them so it's just something to keep in mind when uh, playing the agent I personally think that Sova is a lot stronger defending B uh, than A just because of like the flexibility in the way that you can dart and get information so I'm gonna show some of the things you could do early round as a Sova player playing on the B bomb site. So, if your teammates are playing from middle, or you want to just kind of get early information to see kind of if the T's are defaulting or kind of where they're trying to go, one really strong dart that you can do is you can just come toward the stairs here and just line yourself up with this wooden plank. And if you aim at the top of the uh, this building over here, two thirds power, toss. So actually land on the billboard up here in mid and it'll clear all of tiles and anybody who's out mid. It'll also ping people on catwalk and back cat and even close over here. So it's, it's just a really strong dart, especially mid round to get a lot of information on middle. There's so many times where, you know, the, the T's put a lot of pressure on B early. And they're gonna, you know, regroup and maybe they're doing the cat split. And throwing this dart just allows your team so much information and lets them rotate. And you can kind of get prepared for what's about to happen on the map. So I think it's a really strong dart that all Silver players should know.
if you don't want to use that that mid dart early from b site you know something obviously you can do as well toward b is you can get yourself a shinoden and uh you can do some spamming it's pretty annoying and it's really effective especially over here at the b site so like i was talking about with retaking b or just b splitting from uh from market you, know, you want to be kind of unpredictable with your darts you don't want to just let them you know know exactly where you're throwing them and just pre-fire them because then you're not going to be able to get any tagging off so something i like to do start of the round sometimes i'll mix in a, a shock dart like this for the entrance but yeah some really strong darts you can do is if you aim at this brick here and full power just jump and throw so tag on top of the wall you can get a spam another pretty strong one you can do is just aiming at this bar here uh in the window and just left clicking it you can mix in a bounce all of these are going to be really strong for for getting control and for the spam it's nothing too complicated. You like just need to stand kind of to the right of this dog and just spam along the wall right here. So if you come here, do a little jump throw like this. Spam. It gets yourself some free kills. Another really good way that you can do this uh, spam with the Odin is if you want to jump on this box, especially if teams are trying to counter spam you back. If you jump on this box here in the site, if you aim kind of in this area here. It doesn't have to be too specific. You just full power, one bounce, jump and throw. Whoop, oh my God. But if you go one bounce, full power, and then jump and throw, this dart will actually land on the back wall. And it's a lot harder for them to uh, to come and break. They have to come into the into B main over here and actually look up to break the dart. So if they do want to come in, you have a pretty big advantage on them. I actually prefer using this dart for spamming, but the spam is a little bit harder to get off. Because you have less room to uh, to play with, but I think it's a really strong and effective uh, spam setup. One, one thing about Sova as well that you know that makes him really strong is his ability to gather information. And something else you can do with Sova that's uh, pretty strong for holding B site. Either you, know, you want to play defensively and you have a teammate either you know, taking uh, taking first contact and playing and baiting for you, or if they're rushing and you need to fall back toward the site. You can do this jump spot here, and you can spot people coming out from B main. Um, if your teammate's spotting for you though, and you, you don't need to take contact, you don't need to do this jump spot, you can just do a simple shock dart like this. Just one charge, bounce it. You, know, you can obviously just throw it at the choke point. This dart is really, really strong, and you're pretty safe relatively for you know, getting some free damage off on people trying to enter the site. And something really strong you can do is just darting above on the execute, and it'll let you spam People pushing toward the site. You can also, you know, potentially set up a kill for your teammate, right? That's like a really big part of Soba's kit is not only are you able to get the information, but it enables your teammates a lot of easy kills as well. So if they're mid execute, say your teammate got cut off spawn by a, like an omen smoke and they're executing, you know, if you're in the site and you throw your dart up here, it's going to let your teammate safely get kills where he doesn't have to just run through the smoke blind and try to, you know, force a trade. So it's really important to, uh, to make sure you're not just using your utility blindly and you know you're serving a, a purpose for what you're doing because if you get you know there's nothing nothing better than getting a five man recon dart and just getting all the information it's really really helpful for your team like i said you know sova's really strong at playing b as an anchor but you know if you want to set up a push for your teammates at a one really strong dart that you can do is you can actually come onto the heaven area here and you aim at this like blue sign uh, by the antenna and if you just full charge jump throw this will it's a very fast landing dart and it'll give you free information outside of uh, gelato and you can combine this whether you do it with like an omen paranoia or maybe a phoenix flash and your teammate runs up it'll give you a lot of space to get this information here it's also really good to know like no one's playing outside a main you know it's pretty good chance that the enemies are, are you know working mid in or trying to do a b rush so getting that early information and setting up your teammate who can just safely get pushed in uh, a main is, is really strong. Oftentimes I see a lot of Sova players, they'll make the mistake of when they want to dart under Balk, they're going to step out here and throw one like off the wall. Um, there's actually a lot easier one that you can do. It's a lot safer that I like to do instead to clear under Balk. And so what you do is you just kind of come on this back wall and you aim on the right side of the box here. And if you two bounce full power, and just take a step. This will land underneath the balcony and it'll let you just 
full spam and get some free kills. Uh, if you don't want to dart and clear under Balak, a couple spams you can do is if you actually come against this line here on the wall, and if you aim, there's like a shadow on the wall here. If you just aim right, right on this spot here, kind of this like weird wavy shadow. You spam, it gives you a free kill for anyone that's playing directly under Balk on the right side. One of the things also that's really important as a Sova player, especially when you have your ults online, is um, you know, just having good awareness of what's happening around the map. Um, because Sova Soul has such an insane range, you can really help your teammates at A without even being there. So that global pressure is something that's like really important with Sova. Um, so when I, when I have my ults, a lot of the time, uh, you know, it's not always necessary for you to be playing B. You can kind of give up the site. And, you know, this gives you early access and a quick rotate to A as well. So, say, you know, the enemies start executing up Cat. You can just safely ult. And just ult toward Cat and toward Dog and Dirt. And this will just free up a lot of pressure for your teammates. So, if they are executing, you can kind of buy time for your the other rotators. Or, you know, just keep your teammates alive, right? And same thing. Like, if you have a teammate playing B... And you're kind of playing towards spawn. If they do an execute, you know, you can throw this dart for them. And just as simple as ulting the entrance, get yourself some free kills on the execute. It's pretty, pretty strong. I think the main thing, again, is just making sure that when you have the ult online, you're not... Like, it's not always the best thing to just ult off rip without having a purpose. Because the ult is so strong, you can win the round by either denying the plant or, you know... Just getting a lot of pressure on the enemy team when they're mid execute so i think those are things to, to keep in mind when you're you're playing sova so something that's you know really effective with sova as well you know team settings like say say your cypher has a trip set up in uh, in market or somewhere here in middle and you know the, the enemy team they go and they destroy the trip and you know this information is no longer here or your say your mid player got pushed off by an omen smoke or you know they killed him or something you don't always have to just go and drone like b main or dart b main you know something you can do is you can actually forfeit the site and i like to do this a lot is i'll come back towards spawn and i'll either drone over the wall here and just kind of clear mid and get this information to my teammates or likewise you know the door is open you can obviously just drone from b site and just come through the door and just drone in the, through market something that's really important with the drone is you don't always want to just drone Especially when you have a recon dart available, you know, you don't want to just commit the drone. It's a lot better if you layer and space out your utility. So, say you open up the round at B with a recon dart toward the uh, toward B main. You know, nothing's there, nothing's there. You can just jiggle this angle or post up if you have an op. And then, you know, if you get pushed back, then maybe you want to come back and then commit your drone from a safe location. Clear this out. Or if you want to set up a teammate, you know, to get your teammate set up with an op here. It's really strong to just come and dart, uh, drone here after darting and just let him walk up with the drone. Like, you can use the drone in a lot of situations, kind of like a, a six man for the team. And, you know, if they kill the drone, you know, it's just a drone. You're not losing a teammate and any of their utility as well. So, you know, you want to think of the drone in that way whenever you're you're going to commit to, to using it. Because it's a really powerful tool and it can win you a lot of rounds if uh, used properly. In general, I think Sova is an extremely strong agent, especially on this map. And uh, I think uh, you know having a Sova in your team uh, is, I would say, vital to the success on the, on Ascent. And you know, using some of these darts and uh, shocks that I showed, maybe it'll help you out in your own game. Looking for quick and easy updates on all things Cloud9? Well, now you can with the brand new Cloud9 app located in the App Store. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.